Hello there, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to alter the SM BIOS on a Hackintosh machine. So, what is the SM BIOS? If I go to the About This Mac section, uh, it's basically the identifier of the machine. So, what brand is it? So, this is the iMac Pro 2017 right now, but we're going to change that. So, we're going to need a program called Open Core Configurator. So that's pretty uh, simple to understand, and I will leave the description, uh, the link in the description below. So once you've got that installed, you want to go ahead and open up Finder, and find it in your Downloads folder, and then you want to right-click on it, and then Open. This is because it bypasses the checks of macOS, so then it doesn't block it. So let's do it. So it's opening, it's verifying still, and it will say that it's from untrusted developer. Also, uh, let me click open. I You can use Clover Configurator to make the AFI, which is what I'm going to use. So let me uh, minimize this. So Clover Configurator. So I'm going to open that as well, link in the description for the download. And I'm just going to use this to mount the EFI. I know that you can use commands in the command line to do it, but I just prefer this way as it is simpler. So we're going to wait for Clover to open. And then we're going to go to the mount EFI section. Then you want to select your macOS partition here. And you want to input your password for your login. Here we are, just give it a moment. And you want to click open partition. So now there's an EFI folder, you want to double click and then double click open core. And then the config.plist, you want to right click and open it with open core configurator. And here we are, this should uh, be working. So we want to go under platform info. As you can see, it's quite blank right now. But we can go here and we can select. Uh, what uh, identify we want so I'm on Catalina right now but if you're in on Monterey for example such thing like that you want to make sure that uh, the OS version is uh, the same as it was released on uh, the actual Mac um, so I know that 2019 was the uh, release of uh, Catalina so anything later than that it will uh, crash your bootloader so as an example I'm going to do a Mac Mini if I can find one there you want to select that and then go to file save and then you want to restart the Mac so if we restart the VM click restart and I'll be back when we're actually uh, restarted. So here we are back on the Mac OS Catalina desktop. We go to the Apple logo and then now go to about this Mac. You will see that it should say Mac Mini. There you go, Mac Mini 2018. And it says there's an i7 and 4 gigs of RAM when this machine actually has a Xeon uh, X5660. So that isn't correct, but it's masking that for us. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully you found it informative. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, give it a like so I know that you're liking these videos. And also, if you want to see more Hackintosh videos, uh, please subscribe and turn on your notifications for when I post uh, my next video. Uh, my next video is going to be on the DL360G7. Uh, I'm going to do some uh, more videos on that. Uh, but... Thanks ever so much for watching. Goodbye.